Hello and welcome to Still. Welcome. Today's theme is the idea of things being bottom up as opposed to top down and how that affects our image and our relationship with God. Julian of Norwich saw God as a Lord and human beings as the Lord's servants. This is an image that is top down. And if we have a top down image of God, in Julian's case as all powerful, then we look for an image from human experience which mirrors the relationship between God and human beings. So in Julian's case, it was a Lord and his servants. Now today we'll be exploring a very different paradigm, the paradigm of bottom up. And all the readings we're going to be listening to are from Henry Morgan. But first, let's settle together. So find a position that is comfortable, that is dignified, and expresses a readiness to accept and be part of today's experience of stillness. So take a moment to literally bring yourself into this present moment. What is your experience right now? What thoughts are going through your mind? What feelings are here? And just try to be open to the thoughts, the feelings, whether they be friendly or unfriendly or, or neutral. And just acknowledge and accept their presence. Just be here. Notice if there are any particular physical sensations, any areas of warmth, of pleasantness, any experience of discomfort. Just be aware of them without passing any judgment. Just be with your thoughts, your feelings, your physical experience. Whatever the present moment contains, let's acknowledge it. Let's be open to it. And let's be ready to move into our period of stillness with a, an open and curious mind and heart.
Henry Morgan writes, I can understand Julian of Norwich's metaphor of God in a culture where one person visibly exercises a great deal of power and control over those beneath them, as in Julian's day. In that case, to think of God as a Lord, albeit a very different sort of Lord from the earthly ones, makes quite a lot of sense. But I don't live in such a culture, and I am glad that I don't. Some, of course, do. So I begin my spiritual exploration from a different place and proceed bottom up, so to speak. I began with questions about the existence of God and the meaning of life and to trust that what I would later call my intuition, my soul, the God within me, my sense of inner knowing, was a trustworthy guide to the exploration of these questions. I thus learned to place ultimate authority in these matters within me, rather than delegating it outside of me to someone or something else.
My understanding of God has therefore been derived for the most part from my own experience of a God who, somewhat to my surprise, has come to find, meet and call me. I have found God to be loving, accepting and trusting of me, a supportive presence and sometimes a supportive absence who knows better than I do what is in my best interests and whom I have learnt for the most part to trust. What is key for me is that word trust. Not trust in a belief system or an authority figure, but trust in what I can best describe as feeling like a relationship with a presence through absence that is beyond my comprehension. So it's time for our 10 minute meditation practice. The invitation as always is to use what you usually do, if that is what you'd like to do now. Or maybe you'd like to participate in a breath practice, connecting to that supportive, loving, accepting, trusting God within, connecting with that God in our breath. The invitation is to simply watch the breath as it comes in and as it leaves the body. But you might like to use counting. So at the end of each out breath, just dropping in the number one, and then the number two, and the number three. And when the mind wanders, as it will, you simply start counting again from number one, dropping in the number at the end of each out breath. And if you get to number 10, you just return to number one and start all over yeah. again.
the question of whether our thinking about God is top-down or bottom-up is a defining one. It is bound to shape much else in our life. If your thinking is top-down, then you're likely to be most comfortable in a religious, religious structure that is also top-down, with authority figures and texts in place in which you place your trust and which, in turn, tell you what to believe and to do. If it's bottom-up, you're more likely to prefer a servant leadership that supports but challenges you in nourishing your own experiential relationship with God. In the former, trusting yourself is often presented as the opposite of trusting in God. In the latter, the two are seen as complementary. For me, trusting your own soul as your pilot is actually trusting the imminent God within you. May you come alive to the eternal within you. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May your outer life grow from peace and truth within. And may the imminent and intimate God bless you this day and always. Amen. Amen.